this video is in response to Club TC regarding the SR9. Uh, Club TC asks if I've had any problems with the uh, with the barrel peening on my SR9, and I just want to respond to you by saying uh, no, I have not had any problems on my uh, uh, SR9 as far as peening goes. I have actually shot as of today, uh, December twenty second, two thousand nine, six thousand two hundred rounds through it, and uh, it's it's functioned flawlessly. It likes all the ammo I give it. I've I've shot cheap stuff through it. I've I've uh, shot a little bit more expensive stuff. Uh, you know, 125 grain uh, hollow point, uh, full metal jacket, uh, blazer brass, everything federal. Uh, it eats it all up. Works really well. Uh, I should mention to you that if you're interested in purchasing this gun sometime in the future, uh, straight out of the box, it it is a little stiff. Uh, not just the trigger itself, but uh, you might want to to take it apart and give it a nice uh, l uh, lubrication because uh, when I first got it out of the box and I started uh, tinkering with it I did have uh, five, uh, five instances during the break-in period of uh, failure to battery I don't blame the gun for that actually that, that was my own experience and um, um, lack of just uh, common sense uh, uh, gun care I, I should have lubricated the, uh, the slide rail and cam blocks uh, better than I did as you can see, I actually did lubricate it much better now. You can see that cam block pretty well. And I've got a nice, a nice bit of lube there, which I did not have when I first got her out of the box. Should have been more careful there. And that, that'll result in a failure to battery, you know, nine times out of ten. Uh, you know, just take care of your, uh, your slide also. I always try to get a nice coat of grease into that slide as well, right in the crevices right there. That'll, that'll make for a nice, good, clean cycling of the ammo. Uh, what else? Uh, so basically, it's a, it's a very, very reliable gun. Um, and also, I should mention that there was a little bit of an issue uh, with the barrel, which it's not really an issue, I should say. Um, this is a post-recall gun, and I, I, I do know through the forums that they had issues with some of the barrels peening. I have not had that issue. This is usually the top part of the barrel where the barrel would hit the breech is basically where people were having peening. I did not have that problem. I do have a little bit of a, you know, it does make a little bit of contact there. You could kind of see that. But I mean, if I wasn't even looking for it does not affect adverse it does not affect the gun adversely at all. Uh it's probably a millimeter if not less of minor wear at the top of that barrel and it, it's not peening though there's there's no there's no deformation of that steel and uh, some people were reporting issues of uh, failures to uh, eject and failures to battery due to that peening I do not have that problem so yeah Club TC I don't know if you're interested in this gun but I would highly recommend it I'm a, I'm a very very uh, you know average shooter and I'm able to do uh, four inch groups at 15 yards. Uh, that's about as good as I am right now. So <laughs> you, your, your results may vary. So yep, if you have any other questions, feel free to uh, comment me or message me. Thanks. Bye.